Hey everybody, in this video today, it's just going to be a little bonus video for you guys in the business boardroom, but I want to run through all of the couple different cool technologies and softwares and different products that we use in the real estate business. Hopefully you can get some ideas. Maybe um, maybe you don't deploy these in your real estate business, but another business you do on the side, um, just to stir up some ideas and hopefully you guys can take advantage of these things. So let's get started. First thing I want to show you guys, you might have heard Matt talking about it before with our maintenance vehicles. We actually track all of our company vehicles through this. It's Zuby.com. So what Zuby is, is a little um, 4G cellular device that plugs into the OBD port in your car. So every car made after 1996 has an OBD port. That's how dealers and service people can read what your car's computer has to say for um, service but this plugs right in there so it's hidden under your dashboard of your car and that allows you to get telematics on your cars so you can see um it happens today that we're uh fixing all these we got a bunch of brand new devices from zuby a couple days ago to update our systems but um, i have a couple vehicles here to show you i can see where any of my people are in the company at any time so with one that i know they fixed today I can click in, I have the list of all my vehicles. I can click into a specific one. Let's go to this guy here. You can see exactly where he is. He looks like he's stopped at a stop sign right now, but you can see the exact fuel level, battery voltage, mileage, and um, a couple more device uh, details there. If I go down to this one, we can click in here and watch some of the trips. While they're driving, you can follow and see exactly where they're driving. I believe I can turn on a uh, satellite view here. Let's see. Maybe not. Um, oh, there it is, right there. Give that a second. So I can see exactly where my guys are at any given time how much time they spent on a job and if they're you know speeding in my company vehicles whatsoever stuff like that so let's go in and click into this car and take a look so this doesn't just have to be uh fleet vehicles you can put this on like your kids cars anything you want to track um it gives you the odometer, the battery, the fuel, like we said. It also gives you diagnostics from that OBD port. So if you ever get a check engine light, you have this app on your phone, you'll exactly know what that is. So that way you don't have to um, you know, go get a diagnostic from a tech. You know exactly, it'll tell you what it is and what the recommended thing to fix it with is. So I can see um, his trips he took today from the office um, to his house here. I can track all the maintenance for this vehicle, and then if, uh, since we just fixed this today, I don't have metrics, but it tracks trends over time for the driving habits of the person, and then you can, you know, uh, correct someone if they're speeding too much or being abusive. It actually tells you if they're being abusive on the vehicle by flooring it too hard or stepping on the brakes too much. But if I go to trips, I can now see all the trips he took today. So imagine you had all your rehab projects, you have a guy running around in a car, maybe you do this yourself, that way you can track your time at what you're doing. You see exactly how much time you spend there, and it even calculates how much fuel you use. So this is a good thing for if you ever need uh, IRS mileage for some reason, something like that. But on the left here, on the right, you can see speeds, fuel use, duration of trips today, and how far he's gone. Go over to health. Um, no diagnostic codes, just a quick snapshot of the health of your vehicle. And then maintenance, I can set up automatic maintenance reminders for the guys. So it, this program knows who drives this car, and I can set up a new, uh, say, like a brake reminder. So every 20,000 miles, I want to get the brakes done. I can have it automatically alert that driver every 20,000 miles to go in and get the brakes done but it actually goes one step further. You can get uh, smart maintenance. Uh, I believe it's included when you get Zuby. Zuby is, uh, I believe our plan's like $200 per year per vehicle. So um, not too expensive for the data you get, but smart maintenance is, um, Zuby will know you input like what service you've done at the very beginning of when you plug the Zuby in, 
and then it will automatically schedule out service for the vehicle preventatively. It'll schedule out oil changes for you. It actually contacts people in your area that do oil changes, shops for the best price, and schedules an appointment. And then all you do is get a notification on your phone saying, hey, you have a scheduled oil change appointment on Tuesday. Show up. And I believe those um, shops in the network there can get back into your Zuby account through their computer and input the log for the service. That way it's all tracked there with the costs. So pretty cool, makes it easy to manage a bunch of vehicles and know what's going on, where people are, and what maintenance needs done on your vehicles. Uh, another thing while we're talking about tracking, I'm going to go to gpsandtrack.com. So this is more for asset tracking. So imagine you have some dump trailers that you have, like maybe a you know, lend out a dump trailer to your contractor. Maybe you just have expensive equipment like generators and stuff like that. This company sells all different types of um, cellular GPS trackers that you can stick on anything. So here's a little one. So say you have a, you know, $4,000 generator, something crazy like that. You can stick one of these little things on there. No one will ever see it and you'll always know where it is. I, for our, uh, for our dump trailers, have this trailer GPS tracker. It's a little bigger. It's about this big, but the battery lasts five years. And for two seventy nine, no monthly fees, I can track that trailer for three years. So at the end of three years, I'll have to replace this for another two seventy nine. But it always has cellular. It connects to the satellites, and I can see where my dump trailers are at any time. We've actually had a couple dump trailers stolen, so that was why we went this direction. I'm moving on. Let's go to. This is the dashboard for looking at the assets, the, the trailers. So I can click in, see exactly how long something's been there. Um, if you're like having to hunt down one of your assets, you can press locate and this will ping a live feed of where that thing's going if it's moving. And that way you can find it. Let's keep going. Back to, now we're in the warehouse. So. Um, this might not apply to everybody, but it's something to think about. If you ever get to the point where you are providing material for your jobs, these sites are pretty easy to set up. You can go through Shopify and set this up. Um, I used WooCommerce, W-O-O Commerce, to set this up. But I have a website here where my contractors can log in and order material. So they can go in. They uh, are ordering material for a rehab projects, so they basically build a shopping cart, Amazon style, and order all the material for their jobs. They go through, pick, pick, pick what they need. I'll go up to the top here. They can also search like that, and then you can quickly jump to things. But um, they go through, they check out. Then I have some custom checkout fields. So contractor first name, last name, company name, project address, and then uh, who their project manager is, what work type they're doing, work order number internal for maintenance guys. That way we can attribute it to a work order. But uh, the cool thing is once this order goes through, because it knows the project manager, that person on our team will get a text message before the order is sent to the warehouse. They will from there approve or deny the order or revise it. So say our contractor ordered 40 gallons of paint and we know it only needs 20, she can revise it, put in 20, and then push it off to the warehouse once it's approved. As soon as it's approved, I use zapier.com to automatically print that out in the warehouse and automatically input something new in Podio because Podio is where we track our order fulfillment from the warehouse. Going on from there, let's talk about in situ. So imagine we have our main warehouse hub. So all of our products are stored there. We also have all those vehicles I talked about before. So our maintenance guys going out and you know changing light bulbs and doing all the different maintenance things they do, they needed inventory on their trucks to be more effective. So what in situ does is connect to our accounting software, QuickBooks which is where we manage the financial aspects of our inventory. And it allows us, our guys have uh, company cellular iPads from Verizon out in the field. They can pull up the in situ app, quickly um, look through their van and all this stuff is barcoded so they can 
take their iPod, or iPad camera, scan the item they used at a house, and quickly invoice out that house. And now that house is billed for that product. And then the accounting team from there can either uh, you know bill back an investor or just track it that way. So cool way to have inventory in like a satellite warehouse situation. Again, that's a pretty specific thing. Don't know if that applies to everyone, but I just want to show you guys because it is pretty neat. Um, another thing, tsheets.com, if you have employees, um, this, you can use this for VAs, but mainly for uh, actual employees. makes it super easy to track their time and do all the payroll and taxes and stuff like that. So this connects into QuickBooks or it can be standalone. Great program for um, hourly employees. If you're tracking uh, contractors, you can have them use an app called Busy Busy or BusyBusy.com. They download on their phone. You punch in the address that you want them to work at, and they can clock in and out, and you know exactly how long they've been there. All right, let's keep moving on. Another cool thing we got here. So two things. Business Prime. Um, Business Prime is, I think, $279 a year. To sign up for what it gives you is one day shipping from Amazon plus you get business discounts so you order your um, renovation hardware through here smaller stuff like cabinet handles doorknobs things like that you can order in bulk and you can get discounts um, you just go in there you scroll down actually I'm not I don't think this one applies for business discounts but the hardware has a little section that says order in bulk and you can submit a request for a discount directly from the distributor, and then you can lock in that price to your business account. And I have this pulled up because this is something else I wanted to talk about. Um, we're gonna get into security for properties here in a second. Uh, it's not always ideal to put actual cameras in a property. It might be expensive, you have to run the wires, and a lot of properties don't have Wi-Fi, so you can't set up wireless cameras. So um, sometimes just to deter, we will use these. Um, I tried a couple different fake cameras, but this one uh, works really good. It's solar. It has a little motion sensor on there, and then it has a little flash bulb you can see there. So at night when someone walks by, big, um, big, uh, bright white flash will come out of this camera, and it'll start blinking red. It looks real, and um, it's a great deter for you know property in a bad neighborhood, or you just want to protect your stuff that's in the house. Uh, let's keep going through to security. So two different ways you can do this. Um, One-off things, like say you have a rehab project that you want to you know, secure your tools and secure, make sure none of your stuff gets stolen. I recommend using simplysafe.com. So what it is, is a wireless alarm system with a cellular connection. So it has its own um, prepaid cellular plan. You buy the thing and then I believe it's like, uh, 10 bucks a month to do but you get a base station with an alarm siren you get a keypad and then you can pick from any of these sensors to put in your house so you have your door open sensors motion sensors uh, when we put this in our properties I just put the base station the keypad and motion sensors because I don't have time to stick up the uh, door sensors and I don't want contractors to knock them off or they get lost so I just put motion sensors around the house at the entrances and I pair that with glass break sensors. That way the alarm will go off if anyone tries to break in. But you have all these sensors. You also can put smoke detectors to it, carbons, temp sensors, and water sensors is a pretty cool thing. So as you're working on a project, maybe it's the winter time, you want to make sure that you know everything's tight. You can put water sensors in the basement under some hazard areas, and this thing will automatically alert you at you know one in the morning if a pipe breaks and you can get there fast and get it fixed you something you wouldn't find out until maybe uh, a day or two later when you show back up to the project another thing with uh, simply safe the keypad so the keypad can have a bunch of different users programmed into it so think about if you have a bunch of different um, trades of contractors coming into your house you have your GC HVAC guys electrical guys they can all have their own code to turn off the alarm when they walk inside. And that um, backs up to simplysafe.com and you can check the logs of when codes were entered and by who. So 
Um, you can know exactly when your GC showed up and when he locked up using his code. Same thing for all your trades. So that's another time tracking thing with the extra benefit of being an alarm system. Simply Safe is pretty neat. Let's keep going. Point Central. So Point Central is actually an amazing company. Um, we haven't had the chance, um, really like the time dedication to deploy this in our rentals yet, but we for sure will in the future. What it is, it's similar to Simply Safe. You have a base station that plugs in somewhere in the house, um, maybe in a closet, something like that, plugs in, has a 4G cellular um, connection. I think it's 10 bucks a month plus the cost of the hardware. And then you can have all the smart home features you would want in a normal house, but you can have them on your rentals and uh, rehabs. So smart door locks, you can change the door codes from your office without ever going there. So say maybe a tenant moves out, you can change your door codes right there and um, you know lock people out for doing eviction and stuff like that. You also have smart thermostats. So say a tenant leaves, I can press a, they're called scenes. So I can have a scene for like a tenant move out. It'll lock down the house, change the code, lower the thermostat and do all that stuff. So automated from the office, it works really great in bulk with a lot of properties. Um, you can also, there's a variety of sensors. Let me see if I can pull them up. Tons of sensors you can connect to this thing. Alarm.com. So um, we had a big problem with pipe breaks a couple winters ago because it was like negative 40 degrees in the winter here. But I can get, let's see, let's try this one. Uh, there's a smart thermostat that they give you. Let's see what kind of sensors they got. Just give me a second to find that. Uh, anyways, I can't find it, but they have um, same thing as Simply Safe. They have water sensors, temperature sensors, stuff like that. But it's in a dashboard with all of your houses in there, so you can quickly look at your like. Say you have ten rentals, I can quickly look at all the temperatures of all the rentals. I can look at if there's any water leaks, and I get proactive alerts on my cell phone if any of those things happen across any of my properties. So it's a cool way to do the Simply Safe idea in bulk. And you have those extra benefits of scenes and just being able to edit things from your office. Going on, last thing I want to show you is Plecto. So this is a test dashboard I threw together. Um, what Plecto is, is a way to display data from your business, your KPIs, like we talked about in a previous lesson with Lewis. Um, once you start tracking your KPIs, and a lot of you guys, if you have Podio um, Powerhouse, you can tie this to your acquisition stats and your campaign stats and drive dashboards off that. But Plecto will connect directly to your system and display stats in a nice way with charts and graphs. You can even have automatic reporting coming out and proactive reporting when you know numbers fall below certain thresholds or above certain thresholds. I'll give you an example of what you can display. So I can show uh, numbers and values there, I have speedometers, I can have my team on like a leaderboard type deal, like say you have a couple acquisitions agents, you want them to compete against each other, you can pull that stuff in. Uh, graphs, uh, countdowns, and then there's another uh, leaderboard type deal. But you can kind of go crazy with this, you can have tons of different dashboards for all your different departments of your company, and this ties all back to Podio, and it actually integrates with pretty much any software online. You can tie this to QuickBooks, you can tie this to um, Shopify, whatever you use in your business to make it work, it will tie to it most likely. That's pretty much it for what I want to show you guys. I hope you guys got some ideas and oops, sorry, my phone went off. Hope you guys got some ideas and I'll catch you guys on the Freebie Friday tomorrow.